Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today, I wanna to show you how you can airdrop from an iPhone or an iPad or a Mac over to an Android device, or you can, you can airdrop from an Android device over to an Apple device like an iPad, an iPhone, or a Mac computer. It's super easy, and best of all, it's absolutely free. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are. I am on my two devices. I have my uh, my iPad here, and I also have my Android phone, which is my Galaxy Z Flip. And it's super easy to airdrop from an iPhone over to a uh, to a Galaxy phone, and vice versa, or a an Android phone. Really, any Android phone, and vice versa. We just simply need to go to this website called snapdrop.net. That's it, snapdrop.net. We're gonna go to that website on both devices. And once you open it up on both devices, you will see that the, uh, the two devices are found right there. You'll notice here it says, the easiest way to transfer data across devices, allow me to be discovered by everyone on this network. You can also click that there and um, and I believe you can possibly change that there if you want to, um, to, to change who can find you. But I think it's, it's easiest if you leave it to uh, allow everyone to find you on the network. Now, also, it's important that you're on the same network. So if you're, you need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network, I believe, I believe. So anyhow, all we need to do now is just simply go ahead and click where, uh, like on my iPad, where it says Android. I'm going to click that. I'm gonna click my photo gallery and then I'm gonna click all photos. And here are two photos of me. I'll click one and two. And now I'm gonna click done. And it's going to start sending it over to my uh, Android phone. And we can see it's already there. So we'll just click on download for the first one. We'll click download for the second one. And just like that, they're already available. So now I'm gonna go over to my gallery and there they are, right there. I can click that and there it is. And I'm gonna go back, I'll click the other one and there it is. And it's just that easy. So now let's say that I wanna go and I wanna send a, a couple of photos over to my, uh, my iPhone so or my iPad. So I'll just go over here and click on where it says Mac Safari because that's what it's reading in my iPad as. So I'll click that there. I'm gonna go ahead and select files and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select right here and I'm gonna go down to where it says gallery and click on gallery. And now I can choose all my different photos that I want to, uh, that I wanna select from. So let's say that I wanna go ahead and select this photo here. I'll select that and it's going to then just start sending it over to my, uh, to my iPad. And there we go, we can see it's there. It's gonna ask me to download it. So I'll click download and it's gonna ask me again, do I wanna download it? I'm gonna select download and it will download it. Now this is the interesting thing with the, uh, with the iPad, it's not gonna send it directly into your uh, photo gallery, it's gonna send it into your download section there. So you can see it's gonna be in the download section of your, of your files. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my, uh, I'm gonna go to my files section. So let me see, let me go over to where my, uh, my Apple apps there, I'm gonna click on files. And we're gonna see here, it's gonna be in the download section. And there it is, right there. That's it. And so now what I can do is, if I wanna save this to my gallery, I'll just click the little, the little share button right there and I'll click save image. And now it's saved. I can actually delete this now if I want to. I'll just go ahead and click delete. And now I can come over to my gallery. And where is it at? It should be in here somewhere. Well, it didn't show up in here for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but sometimes that happens. And unfortunately, I already deleted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back over to uh, Snapdrop again, and I'm gonna send the photo back over there again. So I'm just gonna click that. I'm gonna go back to files, and I'm gonna go back over to, um, I'm gonna go back over to my gallery and click on gallery. And I'm gonna scroll back down and I'm gonna click the photo again and it's gonna send it over to my iPad again. All right, so there we go, it's sent over. I'm gonna go ahead and download it again. I'm gonna select download again there. It's gonna save it over to my files section there and we'll see it there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click the share button again and I'm gonna click on save image so that I can save the image over to my uh, gallery. So hopefully now when I go to my gallery, it's in there. Um, if it's not, sometimes it's weird. Sometimes I've noticed that my iPad takes a while for it to update. 
And also sometimes it puts the photo in the date. So wherever that day is. So um, yeah, sometimes it does, oh, there it is. So yeah, it did show up. It, it was there, it was just showing up in a weird space. So I've noticed that sometimes with, with, the, uh, with the iPad it does that. I think they're trying to be a little too fancy about their organization, but um, so when I hit the all photos, it, there it is because it's showing based uh, it's showing its place in my gallery based on the date that the photo was actually taken. So yeah. Anyways, that's it. That is how you can actually send um, you can send files back and forth uh, from your iPad to your Android phone or your Android phone to your iPad or, or your iPhone or any Android device really. It's a very easy and quick way to do it. And best of all, it's absolutely free. There are some other solutions out there that allow you to do this, but they're paid versions, and this is free. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is it. That is how you can actually airdrop from an Android device to an Apple device or from an iOS device over to an Android device or even from a Mac over to an Android device and an Android device to a Mac. Super easy, as you can see. All you have to do is go to snapdrop.net. Again, that is snapdrop.net. Make sure that you're both on the same network and then you can just start sending files back and forth from one device to another. Now, this is very, very handy because for instance, I have an Android phone and I have an iPad and a Mac, and sometimes I wanna be able to quickly send photos from my, uh, from my Android phone over to my Mac or over to my iPad, and now I can do it without having to go through email or text messaging, whatever that is. I can just simply go ahead, open up Snapdrop, and start sending photos and videos and all kinds of files from one device to the other. It's very, very easy, and it's free, which I absolutely love. I mean, it's just basically like AirDrop, except it's cross-platform and it's free. So yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna leave links to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out and try it out if you're interested. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.